across this video today and was like, wow, what am I waiting for? Why will I wait to share this kind of video with my audience? Guys, watch this video. Not just only watch, learn because there are vital informations on why I am sharing this video. Don't just only learn alone. Try to share it with friends. You guys know that I always say it on my channel here. Health is wealth. Sickness, some chronic one, they know they show for face. So if you have all this information on time, whenever all these things are coming, you can be able to tackle them. Sit right back and watch this video and learn from it, okay? I see you all in my next one. After two years of humiliation, my neighbor's wife was stripped and kicked out of her matrimonial home like she meant nothing, like somebody was throwing out a piece of rag. Her mother-in-law and her husband have been giving her hell because she could not conceive. So they threw her out and they called her a witch that she has been eating her children. This has happened to so many women and sadly, so many other women can go through this challenge because they are not well informed. Any woman that wants to get pregnant and carry all her children and any young girl or any woman that has done D and C, anybody that has done evacuation of the womb needs to hear this information. If a woman has a problem of not being able to conceive and have her children, it's not an excuse for anybody to call her a witch. This is simply because it can be as a result of medical condition. Not because she cannot have children, but because something needs to be treated. Most times women that always have miscarriage or cannot conceive to be able to give birth to carry their children is mostly because of the problem of resource factor. When one does blood test when one is pregnant, it is very possible they are going to check if the person is resource positive or resource negative. What is resource positive? What is resource negative? If one is resource positive, you really don't have anything to worry about. If the red blood cells in the body have protein on it, those dots that you see on the blood, guess what? It simply means that person is resource positive. But if it does not have, that person is resource negative. If it doesn't have protein on it, how does this affect a child? How does this affect the mother? For the fact that a woman is resource negative or a woman is resource positive does not mean the woman will start falling sick. No. What it means is this. If the woman takes in, she's most likely going to have the fetus, that's the baby that is growing, that is resource positive. If she's resource positive, she won't have a problem with giving birth to that child. And at the same time, if she wants to conceive after that, it will be very easy for her to conceive. Simply because she's resource negative and the child is resource positive. If that child's blood should mix up with her blood, her own blood that is resource negative will start developing antibodies. The antibodies that she is developing will not affect this child. This child will grow. But surprisingly and sadly, if she wants to conceive again, if the next pregnancy and the child is going to be resource positive, the antibodies that she has developed, that her body has formed, will fight against the fetus and not allow that fetus to develop to become a child. Then it becomes a problem for that woman to keep pregnancy and you start noticing constant miscarriage. Before I tell you what the cure is, how does this affect that slave queen, that girl that is sleeping around, that has aborted, that wants to abort? Please, let me tell you something. That evacuation that you are about to do or that you've done is equivalent to your first pregnancy and your first birth because it's an evacuation. So if the blood of that fetus mixed up with one's blood, when one is resource negative and that fetus was resource positive, automatically the person's body has developed antibodies against future pregnancy when the child is going to be resource positive which is most likely going to happen that is why you see that some people will marry it will not be very difficult for them to conceive probably because they've evacuated before they've aborted before now it's affecting them now how do you prevent that so before anyone starts thinking of oh i don't want this picking i don't want this belay i didn't plan for it and it's your first pregnancy and one wants to do evacuation Please, oh, when one is trying to do evacuation, to chop and clean mouths, to pretend like one did not take in, if you go across counter to buy that drug and just use for it, or you try to do it by yourself by using hunger to pull it, like so many people used to do in the hostel, what if the blood of that positive fetus affects the negative resource factor of this woman? Guess what? She will find it difficult to conceive again because her body is going to develop antibodies. This is why I am saying, before you go out there to start doing what you are not supposed to be doing, please let a professional doctor advise you on what to do.
Don't make a mistake. Now, this is going to take us back to how to prevent a woman from not having antibodies that can affect the positive filters in terms of resource factor of a child if she wants to have a second child. Just make sure within 72 hours of your first delivery, make sure your doctor gives you the resource factor injection. It is called resource factor immune globin. Make cannot go bite my tongue. Please ask your doctor to give you that ROH immune globin injection so that once you take it, your antibodies will not develop to affect the next pregnancy. For those who are already pregnant, at least within 28 weeks of pregnancy, once you confirm that you are resource negative or you are positive, please, most importantly, if you are negative, make sure you take the resource factor injection. When you take it within 28 weeks of pregnancy, please, immediately after delivery, within 72 hours, make sure you take that injection also. Please and please, before you start calling a woman a witch, before you start saying she has been eating her fetus, please just know that there is a medical condition that she may need to test for and at the same time make sure she gets that injection so that one can easily conceive and be able to carry one's child. That is the dream of every mother. If you want to learn more things like this, don't forget to follow me for more and share this video because you never can tell whose marriage this video can save and whose marriage this video can be a source of information for.